Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I did a video a while back and I'll link it in and it was um, called Gathering Stuff for Flowish Journal Swap. Well, my time is overdue. I was supposed to send this thing out two months ago, I think, last month. I received mine, of course, and I was like, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm still nervous, so you may hear a lot of nervous chatter. But I need to go ahead and send this out because it's not fair to any of my swap partners that I cannot meet the rules of our swap agreement. Okay, so you've seen me do some of the things that I'm going to show you already. I'm just going to quickly go over those. And this right here, what I'm showing you now is some of the stuff that was in the very beginning of the video. And I'm just going to quickly go over this, which I love this um, so much. But now it's come time to get your act together, right? And send it out. I promise if you ever want to do a swap with me, um, let's just do cards, right? No, I'm all about doing swaps with people. I just need to remember that I need to get it done and not be so nervous. So I love this. I love this lady in the background. I'm not sure what she's going to do with it. Because when I first showed it to her, she was like, yes, yeah, unfinished. I was like, isn't that the uh, purpose of a flow? And so as I've been pulling sheets and things out, we only need to send 100, no, 50, 50 pages, I think. So, um, and it needs to be eight and a half by 11 folded in half, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you because I um, haven't spoken with you all in a while. You probably won't see this video for a while. This is October and I'm going to send it out to her first and then if she likes it, then I'll post this video. Um, but if she don't like it, then I'll post this video. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm always nervous. Okay, so these are the, the keep, the keep thing. And I have this crazy glare right here. So if you ever notice, I put, I try to put a muted piece of paper or something that's muted right there. So it's not so crazy. Hopefully that works. Okay, so I have these things. Um, when I create things, I always create with a purpose, even though it may not be a purpose at the very moment. Um, we both love house smiles. So, yeah, some more stenciling. And the one thing I didn't get a chance to do is I wanted to do some, some heavy-duty embossing and just um, send it like that, just emboss all over. But I didn't get a chance to do that because I can't find my embossing plates. The small ones for the um, boutique, the Sizzix boutique one. Um, so, yeah, that is crazy. So, I'm going to send her these two. Um, I realized that a lot of people can just go through their things and grab stuff. I suck at that. Yeah, I'm not good at that at all. Um, but I thought that these would be cool, um, because, you know, she can cut them up or, or do whatever she wants. I have about 20 piles of randomness that I am going to just do and get it done because it needs to go out today. I told her, she said, she, she said, can you send my, uh, flow please? And I was like, yeah, sure, sure. No problem. I'll gather it up. And I can, I, I really only like to create when my family's asleep or my son's asleep because if not he likes to sit in my lap while I'm creating and it kind of bugs me I can't I can't work with another person in my lap now in my belly was different right I love this you guys never saw me use this I don't think but it is a um embossing folder from one of the magazines that I like and I said are you okay with me sending you some of my color pictures <laughs> I love this lady I don't think I showed you all her before if I did okay um, I'm going to put I told I need to work on the cover and I really do because I need to reinforce the cereal box but again with the flow journals from my understanding they can't be complete from what I understand like they're not supposed to be a complete work of art they're supposed to be things that you can definitely use and I'm going to send her a picture of my Nicholas right that kind of looks like Nicholas what is bad self? Um, some stickers. Um, and this chick. I'm gonna do a vid you'll see this video of her coloring after no before you see this video I'm making currently. So all the things that I want to keep are going over here in the the um the flow. 
Um, these are current magazines. Do you guys use current? This is a magnet. So she, you know, I would, I, tr mm, I try not to put the things that I really, really like a lot in my creations, but at some point you have to, and this is, this is just in general, you have to create things that's going to make you happy because if you don't create things that make you happy, then you, I feel like you'll be stuck. You should always challenge yourself, though. Isn't this some shiny paper? So we're going to cut that up in a few moments. Well, I'm going to cut it up and then come back. And then these come from my infamous coloring books that I have. I thought these would be cute for her to color. Like, I, w I wanted to color, like, one picture, and then she color another one. But I feel like sometimes when people send you unfinished colorings, it's kind of like a, a insult to you. This is the page that I want to keep. Um, so you can take that comment how I said, with, you know, with a grain of salt. Um, some people send it, send you things to um, challenge, not challenge, uh, make a, a project hold. Like say if I start coloring a book and I send the incomplete book to someone else for them to finish, you know, kind of like it's a traveling, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that would be so cool. These are, I can't use those. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. I'm going to put some tissue paper in there. Yellow is fine. Blue I'll put to the side for her if she chooses to <laughs> do another swap with me. Now, I will tell you that these pictures that I see right here, these sheets, I like them because I feel like you can stamp on them or you can paint on them and you can do just a whole variety of things with them versus using them for what they really are made for so that's why i pulled a few of those out um then we have these and these were pur these are purposed purposeful um creations this is a regular scrapbooking paper with a beautiful flower stamp on it and then this is just some christmas and hollow um christmas and what is that day valentine's day or love day as some people call it and then this is wrapping paper that i absolutely adore again i tried to put some elements that she likes in here so i took a 12 by 12 i took a few 12 by 12s and cut them down my issue wasn't that i wasn't um complete i wasn't i had all the stuff i have the stuff right as you can see, I had a stuff, but in my head, I have to work out all of my creations first. I've tried going, you know, shooting from the hip and that project is incomplete because I don't know the next step yet. Um, and that bugs me. You know, a lot of people can just sit here and create. I can't, I have to work it out. I have to definitely work them out in my head. These are some shamrocks that I cut out that I thought would be cute, colored up different colors and just stacked. Um, but she, of course, can do whatever she wants with them. She can paint them purple or green. I'm going to put them to the side because I don't know if I bought my little baggies. This is a bookmark from the um, library. thought that would be cute. And here's some more papers. Now, you see this? I thought this was funny. Um, some of these I pulled out because I do have another project coming up. So let me put this to the side. All right. So I'm not, I don't think she's into high fashion, um, but she could be. But I think this Burberry uh, pattern is very cute. And then I got this because, she, you know, she could just use some of this and um, cut it out if she wants. Make some little dolls with that, right? Um, so let's see not shiny and then I'm going to put all my little pieces to the side and then we'll put it together the one thing you probably will not see um, me make is the completed book like the whole entire completed book but we'll see so I love tags I'm not sure about you thanks Don if you're watching this for getting me even more hooked on tags I think I've told you all this story before maybe not my mother worked at a factory in Brenham Texas um, I don't remember what it was and I can't call her up. I have to ask my aunt later on if she remembers, um, what the name of that factor was, but she would come, maybe it was a, a, a cleaners, a huge cleaners. I'm not sure because, you know, back in the day, that's what women did. Um, if they weren't homemakers, 
like stay at home homemakers, they worked in factories because that was what was going on. You know, secretary of factory work, right? Anyway, um, I guess I was like three or four. No, I wasn't four. It had to be younger than because we moved back to Houston. Uh, at the beginning of my life, I moved around a lot. Um, and then closer to all the rest of my life, I moved around a lot as well. But anyway, she would come home with a big ring of tags. And I'm thinking it was a cleaner's. It was definitely a factory. She worked in a factory. I remember her coming out um, sometimes with her head covered in those little white uh, bonnet. Not bonnet. You know, like the food workers. But it was definitely not at a food place. So, yeah. These are little tags. You know, you can follow. She can do whatever she wants. Um, yeah. I love these things. And, you know, you don't want to overflow. <laughs> I get it, flow. Um, You don't want to overflow anything with one particular thing. I think I would probably do best or better with a theme, a themed um, swap. Maybe I don't know. Even my um, twelve by twelve that I did with Bear Crafty Bonet uh, was late. She had already sent me hers because the thing is, I am not a faithful crafter. I realize that now. Like I am not faithful to projects when they are huge i need distractors i need other things to get my attention and that's way my brain is still working out how to actually put together or create or do different things um for the the massive project uh i'm not sure how you all are you may you may be like oh i can get it done i've seen people you know i've watched wonderful creators sit and do a project from start to finish. I thought these would be cute. You know, I have a love for buttons. Um, and she has a love for uh, uh, pink, you know, like beautiful pastel -y colors. So I thought this would be uh, very pretty for her to look at, cut up. Like right here says Haley. She maybe can put um, her name, her um, family's name, or this little duck. I love that duck. You know, she can probably fussy cut that out and put it on the project. And this is just giving you some idea. Look at this little dress, though. Isn't that little dress cute? Um, I know I shouldn't have got into it. Look at this. I love that. I may try this. I may try that. We'll see. Because I have a son, right? So I can do none of this stuff for my, my son. Although, although I probably could do this one right here. Um and have his name dangle for his little birthday uh, in a couple of years. Look at this, though. Isn't this? I love it. I love it. Yep. All right. So there we go. I think after this project, I may be ready to tackle my junk journal, right? So this right here is food coloring. Um, I think my water to mixture ratio is off a bit. But this is food coloring. Uh, blue and red did not make a good purple, but I love how it kind of looks dingy. So I, I won't give her that, you know, send her all the dirty, dirty looking ones. But I'll send her a few crispy critter ed edges. And I just put in the oven and then I put some yellow. And um, it doesn't smell. So I'll put that in there for her. And then um, some sheets of paper, which I absolutely love. Please excuse the crinkling. It's the crinkling. Um, you don't like it, but I love the crinkle. Like I'm not into dirty paper as I had told Ruth Inkwell before, but I love making it. Like, is that weird? That's, that's probably a weird thing to say. Like, I don't like the dirty paper, but like this paper, I, anyway, yeah, no need to continue to make myself look even more crazy than I already am. Okay. So we have this and you guys saw me do this before. I think this is, I love this stamp. This piano stamp is amazing i love prima um they create in my opinion some wonderful things these are some stamps uh dilution stamps i think that she could be able to fussy cut these out if she so chooses or leave it as is and this is definitely something that i made in one of the books that i showed you guys and she said that she liked the book concept so i thought i could throw these in here for her and she could do something with them. And I'm giving her some of, you know, some of the cool characters out of there. And then we have this right here. So I'll put this to the side. And um, I think that's the beauty. Like, like I said, I had the stuff, most of the stuff, besides some of the stuff that I specially made or got gathered for her. 
um, it's just getting ready to put all this together is a very daunting, daunting, daunting task um, for me. Um, you guys probably are like Brandy, it's nothing to it. It's the easiest thing in the world. Don't don't be such a chicken. And um, I will tell you, I am a chicken, as you all know. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, you know, this too shall pass. I probably will always be a chicken. But I'm all right with that. I really am. Um, so, in the comment section, up until this point, tell me if you could use, what would you do with some of these things? Like, uh, what would you make? What would you do with these projects? Um, Wonder and Dreamer 555 gave me that. Isn't that so pretty? It's so cool that I am able to incorporate other things that other people have given me in a flow um, book, right? Because it's so nice sharing. I don't want to share all of my stuff with people because um, I'm stingy like that sometimes. But I don't mind. I don't mind um, sharing with people. So this, you know, I have to get to this bag because if I can't find this bag, we're going to be in trouble. The bags to hold this stuff, we're going to be in trouble. So these are just some random die cuts. Um, I love the stamp, the postal um, shape stamps. I like stamping in that, right? She likes flowers, so why not? Why not in bows, right? Whenever I think of pastel, I always think of Easter. Okay, so now we're getting to, excuse my voice, um, I've only been up a few minutes, and I think I'm getting sick. I got rained on a few days ago. And so now we're getting to the things that I really didn't get a chance to do, but I'm gonna incorporate into the project in some kind of way. Like these, I wanted, what I want to do is do some swatches for her. I thought that would be very, very cool. Um, but it didn't happen. So some of the stuff you see me sliding over here, I got off the internet. Um, random spots. If you're actually looking for the exact location, you can always send me a uh, email at lefthandedcrafter.com. Yahoo.com and I will try and find the location. I will tell you these came off of a Copic website, a Copic coloring uh, swatch. I looked it up on Pinterest first. So you can just type in Copic marker swatches or something like that and that will come up for you. But I want to do swatches with color pencils, but it didn't happen. Um, maybe next time, right? And I don't want to put too much of the same thing in there so you know I like snowmen right <laughs> um, yeah because maybe she'll do another swap with me and I won't be so behind on the times okay so here are my doilies that I told you that I did in brown and um I don't know what they smell like um, they don't smell bad but I did uh, do some tea staining, and it's light tea stain. I didn't do a very good job. These just look aged very well now, which is it's a good thing. I did these a while back because, you know, I've been doing little projects randomly here and there. The thing I want to tell you about this, these came from, um, I want to say Dollar Tree. Either Dollar Tree or these are Wilton. So these are the Dollar Tree doilies or Wilton that I picked up from. Uh, I want to say TJ Maxx. Be careful with the edges because they will fall apart. So just keep that in mind when you are working with these. When they're wet, they will fall apart. Okay, so I pulled out my iris box and I learned this from two people, Ruth Inkwell as well as Gracie21 when I did um, her Christmas in July collaboration. You know, everything was in a, a, a set aside in the iris box for what I wanted to do. So what I really did is I kind of just went and dropped stuff. No, I went through a lot of things that I had that I, you know, I feel like she would like. And I kind of just plopped them all in the iris box. Um, unfortunately for me, I 
don't have a win factor and that means you know like say when stop i'm good don't give me any more and so i just it's over flooded it's overflowing with stuff and um well you know i'm from texas so it's like go big or go home no i'm joking well not really i am from texas and they do say that right so i thought this would be cute as a stencil right so hopefully um you're watching all of it and you'll you'll see that now she can use this as a stencil does that make sense to y'all i hope so um so here are the little bags and um some more dollies these are all prefabricated dollies that i thought would be cool for her i do realize that i probably will be over the a page if i showed you the book she sent me she says that she still needed time but she sent mine anyway it's amazing it's super it's just beautiful um, it's very very well thought out well planned it has a lot of my personal life elements in there um, has stuff in there for the bait it's just amazing uh, very very thoughtful and it made me cry uh, yep yeah, so here we go and then I I collect these did you guys know that I collect cards so I like them a lot. Here's some more dollies and a few more pictures. These came from um, Hobby Lobby, and I I'm going to use those in some other projects as well. Um, oh, I have to get something that's not in this stack, but I want to get a lot of little cutesy things that she could uh, put in her projects. You know, as stickers. We all need, like, random stickers to throw on stuff, right? I'm going to hold back on some of these dollies, though, because I think I probably overdid it with the dollies. I do want to give her some of my dollies, like the handmade ones. And this comes from Dollar Tree. And she don't like frogs that much, but guess who does? <laughs> so I have to throw a couple of frogs in, right? What is a good number to give someone? Like, do you give them one of something? Do you give them two of something? Do you give them three? I know everybody works in odds, but I like even numbers because it just, it's an even number, right? You don't have to worry about it. Like if I gave someone, if it was four kids and I only had three things, right? That would suck. Okay. So, I don't know. I pulled some things out and I feel like they're missing. All right, so let's get together. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video right here and I'm going to start it back up, but I'm going to clear some of this stuff off so we can go over the next phase um, because I do have to cut some things down and I don't think you really want to see that, do you? Um, I know a lot of you like start to finish projects. I love them. I hate not seeing the middle part of videos sometimes so you know i'm just going to stop it and move a few things out the way and come right back so um thank you for watching happy crafting